Hello, this is Sheikh Jalal Ahmed again. Now I'm going to do a very short orientation on the CardioSense trainer software, or as the, the cardiac coherence. So I just opened up the application. I have it on my start menu since I end up using it rather frequently. And when you start it, there'll be various settings. Uh, you can Go with the default uh, in terms of the breath pacing because this will show a, a monitor of how your breathing rhythm can move in, inhale, and then exhale. And everyone will have a slightly different rhythm, but the default is about five seconds in and six seconds out. And if you breathe faster, then you may have less coherence. It depends on if your physiology can actually be coherent with a faster rhythm. If it's very fast, it seems that well, maybe three seconds in, three seconds out, something like that, then there's a higher likelihood to have less, uh, less coherence, which means less active brain function. So stimulants in the diet, I know coffee affects me. I do drink coffee. I just had two shots of espresso about an hour and a half ago, so we'll see how my coherence is, uh, is affected. So there's settings here on, uh, essentially here it says brace, uh, breath pacer module, so breathing rate of six breaths per minute, and the inhalation is with three seconds, and then there's a hold at the top of a second, and then exhalation of four, and a hold at the bottom of two. Now the Summarizing what the video talks about, uh, Alan Watkins' video, is that the um, the importance is to have a steady breathing rhythm where you're you're moving air continually in and out of your system, and that essentially the volume is constant as you're inhaling and exhaling, just to feel the smoothness and easiness. You don't want to breathe jerkily, etc. Inhale and exhaling. So just a short summary there, and going to start a new session. Now I definitely recommend starting with beginner. There's plenty to do on the uh, beginner setting. Uh, you can start a 5, 10, 15 minute recorded session. You have the option to record the data. It doesn't take much space. So I'm going to start beginner and I'm going to do, I'll do a 5 minute session. And this baseline length is when it's taking your, your baseline cardiac data and then it's going to start as a comparison to that. I don't think the baseline really matters all that much. I usually just leave it at one and sometimes I actually skip the baseline. But in the beginning I recommend let it, leaving that at uh, about one second. So now this is my heart rhythm. Uh, this is the signal coming into the optical sensor and it will auto scale. So actually as you inhale, this, the, the, there's more blood flowing, there's more chi, there's more prana. And you can see the um, peak valley become larger and then as you exhale it actually decreases slightly. And that's actually a measure of the, the power of the heart. There's a measurement here of uh, later on when I select one of these options on the side of how much power the heart is actually generating as they say, or the power spectrum. You can already see my heart right now is um, average about 80 beats per minute, but it goes up as I breathe in, and it goes down as I exhale. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording, and I'll be silent for about uh, four or five minutes.
so this is the the bars, the histograms showing which coherence region you're spending your time in for the first, second, third, and fourth segments, time segments. And this is a summary of your heart rhythm, of my heart rhythm in this case. You can see how the sinusoid, this regular inhalation and heart rate increasing and exhalation of heart rate decreasing, how that is what correlates, ties into, and creates um, the capacity, greater capacity for coherence of being aligned and being harmonious with your mind and your heart. And, and the energy, this, the heart's energy is so much more powerful than thought. When heart is what's leading mind, then we have infinite, infinite power. Hmm. Thank you.